Welcome YouTube, I am Goku a bunch of numbers and I have some freaking awesome news. Unlike the rumors of what people have been saying about the new Xbox and stuff, I have some very awesome news. Alright, so we shall go to xbooks.com, which you can find out most of the information there, but the new Xbox is called the Xbox One. Most people thought it was the Xbox Oval or something stupid like that, but this is called the Xbox One, and it's just been released, and they've done a video review of it and everything. Um, I'll be having a link in the description telling you where to go to find the video. It's live stream video, but you can still watch it now, even though it already happened. But I just at first thought that, you know, it would be a horrible game system, but the rumors have been quite skeptical, and so, well, you know, rumors are rumors. But what I do know completely about the Xbox One is it will be beyond most comprehension. They have upped the graphics. They have upped everything. Like, it just looks beautiful. You have to see it. I mean, at first, like, with the racing thing that they showed, it's like a racing demo. It's not all that great. Oh, yeah, Forza Motorsports. Not a big fan of it, but it looked okay. It looked like just one of the newer ones on the Xbox 360. But then they went to Call of Duty Ghosts for the Xbox One. And I just thought the graphics for it were completely amazing. If you thought the graphics for any of the other Call of Duties were all that great, you will love the Call of Duty graphics. It's basically like they took Halo graphics and put a little bit more upgrading to it. And then, voila, they came up with Call of Duty Ghosts. Speaking of Halo, by the way, the Xbox One has many new features. You can watch TV, you can hook up your satellite to it, or your cable or whatever, and they are coming out with a new TV show, or basically, yeah, something like that, but it's a uh, Halo. They have, like, Halo TV episodes that they're gonna be showing, and... It's just amazing what you can do. I won't be able to explain everything, so all of the rest of the information is on an hour-long video, and well, I don't have an hour to explain everything. But what I will say is the Xbox One, you can basically multitask. You can sit there and be watching a movie and Skyping with your best friend at the same time. And it also has a... Yeah, you can actually Skype on the Xbox One, as well, which is pretty cool, but what's the best part is you can group Skype, you know how like on the Xbox 360 you couldn't Skype with more than one person or something stupid like that, well now you can Skype with a lot more people, and the Xbox One is just so much better in graphics and everything, they have upgrade, they have upgrade everything, they have an 8 core by 86 processor that lets you instantly switch between a game and your entertainment apps with ease. Like, it's awesome, and you can even switch between, like, watching TV and everything, and it has a TV guide, and so if you lose your remote or something stupid like that, you don't need to worry, because the Xbox One, ha I think, also has um, the uh, Connect with it. They have a new upgraded Connect, which it basically is a whole new engine that they put into it. The graphics that it picks up are so much better. It has like a bunch of pixels going on at once. I don't remember. I'm not that smart when it comes to pixels and stuff. But I just know the Kinect is going to be so much better than it was before. It picks up movement so much easier and the voice will also be so much clearer. And it recognizes you by your voice. You can basically look at it and say Xbox on, and the stupid thing turns on. Freaking awesome, right? I know, it's cool. But the Xbox One is just an amazing console altogether. Now there have been rumors where you have to pay to play your games and pay to be online still, but they haven't completely released that. They probably will in um, 
a couple weeks, they're doing a review with EA and stuff like that, which they've also teamed up with EA Sports games and stuff, and the sports games are so much crisper and clearer, and the graphics are, well, awesome. And I just think that the Xbox One has definitely outdone itself. But the PS4 also doesn't look that bad. I'm not going to do much review with that because, well, I'm not a big fan of PS4 or any of the PlayStations. I do have a PlayStation 2 and a PS3, but eh, they're okay. But um, anyways, like I said, uh, the Xbox One is amazing. It's going to have an 8 gigabyte of RAM and about a 500 gigabyte hard drive. And I already know it's like... 5,000 something or other, it's like, something important. <laughs> I'm not good with technology, but it basically runs a lot faster. It's basically like a little tiny supercomputer, except it's in your living room. You can play video games on it and watch TV, and it's just awesome. You can multitask with almost anything, and it's probably the best gaming system I've seen so far. I mean... With your HDMI pass-through, you can connect your cable or satellite box to your Xbox One and prepare for prepare for liftoff. It's basically an HDMI pass-through enables you to watch TV through your Xbox, which makes switching inputs seem almost prehistoric. And it's going to have a Blu-ray player, so watching movies and playing games in stunning HD is a new thing coming out with the Xbox One. Um, basically you can play with the peak performance is what they say, but Xbox One is, uh, the perfect balance of power and performance in addition to Xbox One's revolutionary architecture. The combination of its CPU slash GPU, whatever thing, I don't know what that is, and SRAM is like having a supercomputer in your living room, like I said before, but raw power is nothing without speed. So the Xbox One uses the, its power more effectively, creating lighting, lightning fast experiences unlike anything we've really seen before. You can find all this information on xboxlive.com. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to say about it because I think it's pretty awesome. Like, even if you had to pay to play your game online, or forced to be online all the time, I wouldn't care, because it's pretty awesome. I mean, a Kinect comes with it, it comes with it, and obviously a controller, because, yeah, who can play a game without a controller? And you can choose to use your controller or use your Kinect, and it's basically recognized by your voice and anything. Basically, what the preview in it, though, is they only use the Xbox Connect, but I'm pretty sure you can use the controller with it. They haven't said that you solely need the Xbox Connect, but it's just a fun feature to have, so they thought, might as well show it at its best, you know. But all I know is basically most about that. Um, there's a few other things that I know. Um... The entertainment system is so much better because Xbox Home, when you're on Xbox Home, you can still view your live TV or your movies that you're watching, and it's just pretty awesome. But it's always ready to use when you are. Like, all you have to do is just turn it on, and it'll remember what you played last and where you stopped. And so if you still have that game in, it'll just start it up from new if you want to do that. It's some setting thing that you can put in. They haven't fully done it, and, you know, they're going to have an instruction manual. And obviously, since technology gets more and more advanced, we can't be all made like, Arr, I'm not going to watch this stupid video, and I'm not going to read the stupid instruction manual. Fire it up myself. Arr. Yeah, well, let's see how pounding on the Xbox One does for you. Let's see how far you get. I bet you I'll get farther by reading the instructions. Might be a little annoying, but I'll get farther. Anyways, like I said, you can Skype and watch TV or movies at the same time, so... If you want to talk to your girlfriend or whoever you want to talk to, 
and watch your favorite movie at the same time. You can do that. And you can choose to change the volume. I think it lowers the volume automatically for whatever you're watching when you Skype someone. In case you like are watching a new movie and you want to Skype someone, be like, "Oh my God, dude, you have to watch this like right now. It's so like awesome." Or like if there's something like the Super Bowl, imagine what you can do. You're watching the Super Bowl and you can multitask. So you're sitting there watching the Super Bowl and a good playoff is coming and they're going to do a replay of it soon. Skype your friend instantly and be like, dude, get on the TV now and watch it. Or get on your Xbox even. And with your Xbox, you can, I think you can do something like record what's going on and go back to it later. And I know you can do my fantasy player, just be like Xbox fantasy player while someone makes a move. It'll show up on the side like what someone did, like if they scored something. And it's just pretty awesome because you can see their stats and everything. And I'm pretty sure, like, what Xbox One is going to do is with the stats of your characters, like, if you like any of the ESPN games or anything like that, then what you can do is the stats of your players, I think it also makes it so it upgrades the stats of your players on um, your game as well. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting no, over a cold if you can't tell but we it's just an amazing system altogether I cannot go through it all at once but like I said you have Skype you have so much more amazing things and the connect is just so much better because it reads your movements a lot better and the joint system for your own body movement works a lot better with the Xbox Connect as well. So if you guys want to check out more information, just watch the video on the link in the bottom of the description or go to xbox.com and click on the Xbox One on the top. Well, that is all I have for today. And I am Goku A Bunch of Numbers, signing off.